you can choose your language by clicking on the globe icon and selecting Korean or English. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our annual webinar celebrating the life of General Peck Sun Yup on his 103rd birthday on November 23rd, 2023. The Korea Defense Veterans Association and the Korea US Alliance Foundation are honored to host this webinar again. I am Colonel Retired Steve Lee, the KDVA Senior Vice President. The sequence of events will be welcoming remarks from General Retired Curtis Gapparati, the KDVA Chairman and President, and General Retired Im Ho Young, the K KUSEF President. Then we will have messages from Minister Park Min Sheik, the Korean Minister of Patriots and Veterans Affairs, Governor Yi Char Wu, the Governor of Gyeongsangbuk Province. General Retired Kim Kwan Jin, the chairman of the General Peck Sun Yup Foundation. Then we will have a discussion with General Peck's oldest daughter, Miss Nami Park, about her father and the recently founded General Peck Sun Yup Foundation. We will discuss how the foundation is carrying on General Peck's legacy of supporting the ROC US Alliance and veterans so that both the Republic of Korea and the United States can become more secure and prosperous. Then we will open the floor for Q&A or comments for our audience members. You can write your questions or comments, remembering General Beck in English or Korean at any time using the Q&A tab at the bottom of your screen. You can do this even before the Q&A session start. Please keep the questions and comments short and relevant to our discussion. This webinar will be available on the kdva.vet digital library and the KDVA YouTube channel in a day or two. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the KDVA chairman and president, General Curtis Gapparati, for his welcoming remarks. Sir. Thank you, Steve. And welcome you all to this special webinar honoring General Puck Sun Yup on his 103rd birthday. This evening, you're going to have a real treat. We'll be privileged to hear a moderated discussion between uh, Steve and Ms. Nami Park, General Park Sun Yup's daughter, uh, as well as several videos uh, from ROC leaders. But I guarantee you, you will enjoy it. I had the privilege of getting to know General Park Sun Yup um, when I was the commander and thereafter for the remainder of his life. I had the opportunity to spend time with him and to uh, have the benefit of his lessons in history and leadership. He's truly a remarkable leader. Uh, as a soldier leader at the age of 30 now, age of 30, he's a one-star general in, in the uh, Korean War, leading the 1st Infantry Division and literally saves his nation in the Battle of, of Dabadong on the Nakdon River age of 30. He then goes on to fight for the remainder of the war, uh, reaching the rank of four-star general and the first four-star in his military, continues his service as the chief of staff of the army, later a field army commander as well, the first, but is literally, I think, um, he set the foundation for what's the modern rock military uh, today. After retirement from the, from the military, he goes on to be the ambassador to several countries and also a secretary and cabinet member within his government. Now, any one of those three lines of professions, military, uh, diplomat, government leader, and entrepreneur would be, for any one person, a great claim as a success in a lifetime. He did all of those things in his lifetime. So this is a remarkable leader uh, and one of the greatest leaders in ROC's history. And uh, I'm sure that we'll all learn a lot tonight uh, as we listen to others' reflections about General Puck Sun Yup. Again, thank you for attending tonight. And I look forward to the evening as much as I hope you do. Thank you, Steve. Great, sir. Thank you very much, sir. So ladies and gentlemen, the KUSEF President, General Imo Young, for his Black Woman remarks, sir.
General General Lim, sir, I, I, I think I'm not hearing you. Okay, um, sir, I'm not sure what the uh, problem is. So if you can hear me, perhaps if you could log off and log back in, and sir, we will do your open, your welcome remarks then. Okay. Okay. So sorry about that. Um, so, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are honored that the Korean Minister of Patriots and Veterans Affairs, Minister uh, Park Min Sheik, has provided a video message in support of our webinar and the General Peck Sun Yup Foundation. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the video message for Minister Park. 안녕하십니까 대한민국 국가보훈부 장관 박민식입니다. 백선엽 장군님의 탄신 103주년을 맞아 장군님의 생애와 위대한 업적을 기념하기 위한 웹 세미나가 개최된 것을 매우 뜻깊게 생각하며 진심으로 축하드립니다. 우선 격동의 20세기 역사 속에서 국난 극복의 주역으로 활약하시며 6.25 전쟁의 최고 영웅이자 한미동맹의 상징으로 남으신 백선엽 장군님께 깊은 존경과 감사의 뜻을 바칩니다. 백선엽 장군님의 뜻을 이어받아 6.25 전쟁을 알리고 한미동맹을 공고히 하는 데 선한 영향력을 발휘하고 계신 백남이 여사님께 각별한 감사의 말씀을 드립니다. 웹 세미나를 주최해 주신 스카파로티 주한미군 전우회 회장님과 임호영 한미동맹재단 회장님, 백선엽 장군님을 기리는 뜻을 함께 해주신 김관진 백선엽 장군 기념재단 이사장님, 이철우 경상북도 도지사님을 비롯한 모든 분들께 깊이 감사드립니다. 백선엽 장군님은 공산 세력의 침략으로 백척 간두의 위기에 처한 대한민국을 구한 대표적인 6.25 전쟁 영웅입니다. 와해되었던 국군 조직 재건에 초석을 놓으셨고 한미동맹의 상징이자 동맹국인 미국으로부터 살아있는 전설로 예우받은 분이셨습니다. 올해는 6.25 전쟁 정전협정 70주년이자 한미동맹 70주년을 맞는 뜻깊은 해로 국가보훈부는 한미연합사령부와 공동으로 백선엽 장군님을 한미참전용사 10대 영웅 중한 분으로 선정한 바 있습니다. 지난 4월 미국 뉴욕 타임스퀘어 전광판에서 백남이 여사님과 함께 백선엽 장군님을 비롯한 6.25 전쟁 한미 10대 영웅의 영상을 보면서 가슴이 벅차올랐던 기억이 있습니다. 또 7월에는 다부동 전적 기념관에 백선엽 장군님의 동상을 건립했습니다. 동상 건립을 위한 모금 과정에서 단 2개월 만에 목표액을 달성할 정도로 장군님에 대한 국민들의 관심과 열기가 높았습니다. 제막식에는 이등병부터 장군 그리고 학생 참전용사 등 세대와 신분을 초월한 각계 각층이 참여하여 백선엽 장군님의 숭고한 업적을 함께 기렸습니다. 이러한 노력들은 그간 음지에 계셨던 백선엽 장군님을 양지로 모시는 첫 걸음이 될 것입니다. 오늘의 웹 세미나를 통해 백선엽 장군께서 평생을 바친 호국 안보와 한미동맹의 가치를 되새기고 앞으로 더욱 발전시켜 나갈 수 있도록 허심탄회한 논의가 이루어지길 기대합니다. 윤석열 정부도 영웅을 기억하는 나라라는 슬로건에 걸맞게 백선엽 장군님과 같은 영웅 한분한 한 분을 끝까지 기리고 성심을 다해 예우하겠습니다. 끝으로 
이 자리를 마련해 주신 백남이 여사님을 비롯한 주한미군 전우회와 한미동맹재단 관계자 여러분들께 다시 한번 감사드리며 웹세미나에 참석해 주신 모든 분들의 건강과 행복을 기원합니다. 감사합니다. So, ladies and gentlemen, KDVA and KUSF sincerely thank Minister Park for his personal support of some of our most significant programs, especially the annual Korea Revisit Program for Korea Defense Veterans and the annual KDVA Reunion. These two programs touch the most important part of KDVA and KUSF, and that is the KDVA members who served in Korea and still care deeply about their experiences so much that they go forward as good ambassadors for the Alliance and Korea. So thank you again, Minister Park and MPVA. So um, let's uh, reintroduce uh, General uh, uh, Lim Ho Young, the president of CUSEP for his welcome remarks. Sir. Okay, I'm sorry, sir, I still cannot hear you. I am very sorry, sir, but I we can't I don't know what where the audio problem is. Um, sir, I, I do apologize. So as you continue to work on that, we'll continue with the uh, program. Um, oh. So, ladies and uh, gentlemen, um, sorry, thank you. Welcome a video from the governor of Gyeongsangbuk Province, where General Peck and his men fought faithful battles during the Korean War. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome remarks from Governor. Ah, uh, Tulu. Oh, okay. Uh, Steve, sorry. can you hear me? Okay, can sir, we can hear you now. Okay, good. So, yes, sir. Go ahead, please, General Lim. Okay, 알겠습니다. 네, 고맙습니다. 아, 우선 그 First of all, I'd like to thank General Scaparotti and all the many attendees for our attending this event today, celebrating the 103rd anniversary of General Paxson's birthday. We're here today to remember the many features of his life, the sacrifices that he made, and also the loyal uh, leadership that he showed was a great contribution that has made to Korea what is what, what, is, what it is today. And he rescued the nation from the, from the crisis of war, and we are all aware of his achievements. While I was the deputy commander of the CFC, I had a chance to meet with him personally. He was around like 90. He was in the late, late years of the 90s. And he still showed, represented the strong loyalship to the country and love and passion for the country and its people and also the military. And so I was very and even after that, the Rakyas has continued to, after his path, we have continued to hold the commemoration uh, event after his passing in order to remember the sacrifices that he made at the Battle of Nabudong. And we also have continued to hold the GDBA for the third year. And we're very lucky to have this uh, webinar to be holding this event with the KDBA, which is a very venerable organization. And starting from today, this year, we will continue to we'll hold this, uh, this uh, webinar 
we focus on using these webinars an opportunity to remember his loyalty, his loyalty to the country and also his sacrifices to the nation and to honor his achievements so that we can use this opportunity for the for accelerating and strengthening the Rakhia's alliance. So the Kusla, along with the Paxson Foundation, will continue to honor his achievements and also continue to share what he left behind his heritage. Thank you, everyone who has attended this webinar. And Kusa promises that we will do our best to support you guys. That is all. Thank you. So, General Lim, thank you so much for your leadership and Kusev, uh support of KDVA. We literally could not run KDVA without Kusev's great support. So uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, again, uh, I'd like to introduce a video message from the uh, governor of Gyeongsangbuk uh, province, where a lot of uh, historic battles uh, were fought, uh, led by General Peck and his men. So Governor Yi Chol Wu and his video message. Thank you very much, Yi Chol Wu, Gyeongsangbuk Nice to meet you. This is Yi Chol Wu, Governor of Gyeongsangbuk. It is very unfortunate that I cannot join you guys at the video conference held in commemoration of Joel and Paxson Yok's birthday. I am currently in Vietnam on a promotion trip for Gyeongsangbuk-do promotion activities, and I would like to extend my gratitude to Ms. Uh, Ms. Peck Nam Hee and everyone who has attended, today, who has attended today's webinar. Joel and Paxson Yok was a hero that saved the Republic of Korea from the crisis of the Korean War. In particular, he said that he shed countless tears in Dabudong at the sacrifice of this man who fell at the gunpoint of the enemy while carrying out a grueling battle on the hills, and also at the sacrifice of the militia who carried the food and ammunition and a frames. Last July, to commemorate that achievement, a statue of the general was erected at the War Memorial of Dabudong at Chilko Province in Gyeongsangbuk-do Province. Gyeongsangbuk-do will continue to spread the general's spirit of love for the nation and continue to protect the region and the homeland with a greater sense of responsibility. Congratulations on the general's birthday today, and I wish for good health to all and everyone who has attended the meeting. Thank you. Thank you very much for, um, for our Korean uh, listeners. Sorry for the, the delay as the uh, near simultaneous interpretation was being done. <laughs> we appreciate our, our professional interpreter, David. So we sincerely appreciate the governor's support to uh, Ms. Nami Park and the living memory of her father. And finally, we welcome a former Korean Minister of National Defense, General Retired Kim Gwan Jin, who is serving as the chairman of the General Peck Sonia Foundation. Here is his video message. Hello, this is Kim Gwan Jin, the chairman of the General Peck Sonia Memorial Foundation. I have been listening to the many activities of the KDVA, and I am very grateful to have the opportunity to meet you all in person. It is especially nice to see KDVA Chairman Skeparati, General Lim Ho Young, and all of you who have participated here today. I understand that today's webinar. I understand that today's webinar is a special event that has been hosted by the KDVA for the past three years to commemorate the anniversary of General Peck Sun Young's birth and to reflect on his memories and achievements every year. Although this meeting is small, it is a significantly meaningful meeting. I believe it represents how the relationship between Korea and the United States has strengthened continuously. As you all know, this year is a meaningful year as it marks the 70th anniversary of the Rock-U.S. Alliance. 
General Baek Sanya was the commander of the Rock Army 1st Division during the Korean War. The Battle of Dabodong, in which he fought a fierce battle against the main force of the North Korean Army at the Nakdong River defense line, was in fact the first Rock U.S. joint operation in the history of the Rock Ministry. At that time, General Baek was only a 27-year-old U.S. 27-year-old general. With the active cooperation and support of Colonel Mike Harris and Colonel Freeman, a 23-year-old U.S. captain, we were able to protect the last line of defense, and based on this, we laid the foundation for a counterattack. Afterwards, when advancing on Pyongyang in a counteroffensive, the U.S. First Corps and the lower divisions in the ROC Army's First Division successfully carried out a large-scale joint operation. In addition, General Baek Sun Yap served as the chief of staff of the army twice before and after the armistice of the Korean War. And with full support from the U.S. government and the U.S. military, he greatly expanded the ROC Army from 10 divisions to 20 divisions in total and established a field corps and the first field army in Asia, in ROC. He achieved the miraculous feat of establishing, I think, these achievements. In short, the history of the 70th anniversary of the Rock U.S. alliance has already begun with the U.S. military. Korea. The seed was sown through Elder Peckson Luke's outstanding partnership, and based on this, it has developed into today's excellent comprehensive security the Rock U.S. alliance has been holding between the two countries. In this respect, General Peckson is a living witness, and history itself of the Rock U.S. alliance. After General Peck passed away three years ago, thanks to Ms. Peck, Peck Nam Hee's long and hard work and sincerity, we established the General Peck Sonia Memorial Foundation on June, 20, June 30th to put, in, to put into practice in our society the spirit of patriotic sacrifice and service and the values of the Rock U.S. Alliance that General Peck Sonia pursued throughout his life. In the future, our foundation will organize and study the many historical documents left behind by General Peck Sun Yup to make the general terrorism widely known to many people. We hope that our younger generation will deeply reflect on General Peck's spirit and grow into people who can play a leading role in the Republic of Korea. We would like to continue to strive to foster the right patriotic spirit for people. We ask for your continued support. The U.S. The KDBA will continue to promote friendship between Korea and the United States. I hope to develop further as a, as a leader who can take the lead in exchange and cooperation between the ROC and U.S. And lastly, although this is only a video, I suggest that we can share the most meaningful slogan while establishing a joint operation policy. If I ask you to come with me, I hope you will respond with, uh, with the we go together. We go together. <laughs> well, wonderful. Uh, thank you, sir, for uh, your decades of service and your continuing efforts with the foundation. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to transition into our moderated discussion. Ladies and gentlemen, please let me introduce Ms. Nami Park. She traveled with her father throughout Europe, Asia, and North America, and she accompanied him in all his official visits to the United States. She received a Master of Education with an emphasis on mental retardation and early childhood education and taught children in an orphanage with intellectual difficulties and autism for many years. She works as a volunteer with numerous nonprofit organizations in the U.S. and Korea, including as a member of the KDVA Council of Advisors. She resides in Connecticut with her husband. They have a son, daughter, and seven grandchildren. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are very honored to welcome Ms. Nami Park for her opening remarks. Ma'am. Thank you, General Scott Parody and General Lim for your introductions. I would like to thank the Korea Defense Veterans Association 
for once again hosting my father's General Peck's 103rd birthday. It is wonderful to be back for a fourth year. I would like also thank KDVA and Kusov's advisors, officers, and members for joining me today. And a special thanks to the Minister Pang min -sik, Governor Yi Cheru, and General Kim Guan Jin for, for their remarks and playing key roles in carrying out various projects which promote my father's legacy. 2023 has been a meaningful and significant year for me. Firstly, was establishing the General Paxson Yaps Foundation. After my father's passing, there were several foundations, memorial services, and concert using General Paxson Yaps name. I'm thankful to each of these organizations for their enthusiasm and support for my father's legacy. However, the confusion which stemmed from this prompted several government officers to reach out to me and suggest that I establish a legitimate organization. With this government support and knowing nothing of how to form a foundation, I set off. First, I asked ex-UN Secretary Ban Ki-moon to be an advisor to my father's foundation. And to my surprise, he agreed. This in essence is how it came to be, how it was built from the ground up to embody everything that Peck Sun Yup stood for. It was a long and difficult task. However, it was made possible by Minister Pang Min Sik's personal passion and heartfelt devotion to preserving and promoting the legacy of General Peck Sun Yup. He advised me in every step of the way. I know in my heart that without him, the foundation would not have been possible. Another difficulty was recruiting General Kim Guan Jin as the chairman of the foundation. According to many, he would be the best choice, but it was also told that he would not take the position. Again, surprisingly to my delight, he accepted. I chose him because he reminded me of my father in the manner that he is incorruptible and above politics. He, was, he has devoted his life to defending South Korea and its people. But mostly, General Kim is famous for both being hated and feared by the North Korean regime. In addition to General Kim Guan Jin, there are over 200 advisors and directors currently participating in the foundation, ranging in age from 19 to 104, and from a multitude of backgrounds and professions. My second achievement this year was my involvement in the designing of my father's statue for Tabudong War Memorial Museum. In short, the designing of the statue was fun. Governor Ichiro instructed the sculptor that I would have the final say on every aspect of the design. This authority was great until I realized that General Peck would need to be presented as the world sees him, not as her daughter sees her father. This revelation that any decision I made would have been twisted in controversy led me many sleepless nights as I had to pore over every minuscule detail a million times over. In the end, I decided that I wanted this statue to stand for generations to tell the story of the Korean War for all to see. 
So what I started as a sketch of a man eventually grew into a 14 foot colossus. And for this, I'm ever so grateful to the governor Itaru for his persistence and support during the two year duration of this project. One of my father's lifelong wishes was to be laid to rest with those that he had fought along with at Tabudon. However, he was instead interned at Teji National Cemetery. Although he is not personally in Tabudon, his likeness is with his comrades. It is a reminder that he not only watches over his comrades, but also Korea as a whole. For past three years, every time I was faced with difficulty, I remembered that one day when I was a child, my father set me on his lap and promised me one thing. And he said, I have nothing to hand down to you, but it is my wish that whenever you find yourself in distress, you may mention my name and people will rush to your side. It took me years to finally learn the true meaning of those words. It was not self-praise to his six-year-old daughter. Instead, it was a promise, a resolution, that he would continue living up to his reputation and that his name would remain honorable to his daughter, his people, and his country. But now that he is gone, to my amazement, his words literally became true and come true every single time I face a difficulty. Mm. Thank you, Steve. Well, Pam, thank you for um, your personal uh, notes about uh, your father that, you know, quite honestly, only you can tell. And that's what makes uh, this webinar series just uh, so special. So thank you for opening uh, up uh, your relationship uh, with your father and the great work that you are doing uh, for him. So let's dive right into some questions and answers with you about uh, the foundation. So very simple, basic one is, what is the purpose of the General Peksonia Foundation? Well, the purpose of the foundation is to promote General Park Sun-yeop's heroism, patriotism, and humanitarian ideology. Mm -hmm. Its primary objective is to inherit General Park's spirit mm -hmm. and successfully lead and educate the next generation to have pride mm -hmm. in the free democratic republic. And furthermore, to build a society, <clears throat> I'm sorry, where men in uniform are openly respected. Well, um, that is an incredible uh, purpose and mission of the foundation that we can all uh, stand and uh, applaud and get behind. Absolutely. So how is the foundation honoring uh, General Peck's legacy? Well, to achieve the foundation's goals and purposes, we will work on one, gathering and preserving materials related mm -hmm. to his life and achievement. Uh, two, organizing and celebrating important events and projects in his name and supporting his legacy in various medium. Three, promoting and strengthening the Rock us Alliance, sharing experiences from the Korean War and assisting and supporting Korean War veterans and their descendants. Four is promoting heroes from the military, the police force, the fire department, and other emergency services in order to promote a society where they are respected. Five, promoting General Peck 
via events mm. and publications. Six, supporting Korean veterans at home and abroad through various global agencies. And lastly, preserving the free and democratic Republic of Korea by strengthening the Rock US Alliance. Well, <laughs> that's an incredible <laughs> amount of great work that the foundation is doing and will uh, do. So uh, we definitely should uh, support. Uh, so thank you for uh, letting us know about that. So the next question is, um, so I know that the Korean government has been involved. So how have they actually supported his legacy and this important foundation? I have been working closely with Minister Park Min Sik from the Ministry of Patriots and Veterans Affairs for the past year. This foundation will be the only legitimate entity which mm. bears General Park's name and will be under uh, the close supervision of the MPVA. Minister Park's devotion to my father's cause has gone far and beyond my expectations. Mm. At every turn, he has defended General Peck's honor and legacy in both the media and the National Assembly. He even put his minister's position on the line. I know that it is not easy to speak out, to tell the truth, even if it is fact. And to commemorate the third anniversary of General Peck Sanyap's passing, a 14 foot, as mentioned by uh, Governor, a 14 foot statue of my father was erected at the Tabudong War Memorial Museum in the 10th July, 2023. Mm. The commissioning of the statue was initiated by Governor Icharu and brought to the national stage by Minister Pang Min Sik. Minister Park made this initiative into a national project by securing financial support from the Korean National Assembly. I know this was not an easy task. In addition to this support, provincial government Gyeongsangbukdo funded 20% of the cost of the building the statue and the Gyeongbuk Freedom Federation actively raised over 50% of funds from local civilians. Secondly, to commemorate the 70th anniversary of Korea-US alliance, 10 heroes were jointly selected by the Ministry of Patriots and Veterans Affairs and Rock us Combined Forces Command. Together, they provided a video of 10 heroes which is being shown on the mega screen in New York Times Square. Those honored include five Americans and five Koreans. Amongst them are General Douglas MacArthur, General James Van Fleet Sr., William Hamilton Shaw, along with my father, General Pak Sun Yup, Colonel Kim Dong Sok, and Colonel Pak Jong Mo and few more. Also, for the past two years, General Peck's memorial service have been organized by, as you well know, by KUSUF and KDVA. For that, I'm profoundly grateful. However, this year marks the first time that the Korean army has officially taken the reins in the organizing this ceremony. I'm sincerely thankful to the Korean government and the Korea Army for their acknowledgement of my father's lifelong achievement and the sacrifices he made for our free and democratic Republic of Korea. Well, great, ma'am. Um, really appreciate the uh, um, a great uh, explanation for uh, how the foundation has been supported as well as the Korean government supporting 
um, his wonderful statue. I'm looking forward to going to see it. Um, so um, do you have any stories or special memories of your father that you would like to share with us? I know that uh, uh, this is the fourth year that we're doing this and our, our audience really appreciates uh, sort of uh, hearing some inside stories. <laughs> okay, well, during the Battle of Tabudong, many civilians, young and old, shuttered food and arms through enemy fire to the Korean and Allied forces. These civilians came to be called JIG units or A-frame commandos due to their wooden pack resembling the letter A. Unfortunately, during the Battle of Tabudong, at least 2,800 made the ultimate sacrifice. Because my father knew that these civilian efforts made victory possible, he always felt deep gratitude for their commitment and sacrifices. Well, in keeping my father's wish to acknowledge and to honor them, I personally funded the commissioning of the monument dedicated to the recognition of the civilian population's heroic and indispensable action at the Battle of Tabudon. And also my father always said that he would that we should recognize others before we recognize ourselves. So I felt it as my duty that this monument was unveiled prior to the unveiling of my father's statue at the Tabudong War Memorial Museum. So Chilgo County granted my wish and I was able to unveil the monument dedicated to Jig units two hours before my father's. This was possible thanks to Chilgo County Mayor Kim Jae-wook and local government officers. And moreover, my father's office was for 20 years located at the Korean War Museum. As such, I have many memories of my father in that office. Mm -hmm. So it was great that the foundation was able to keep the same location and even the same furniture that my dad used. However, it has been difficult for me to go back to the same yet incomplete office, especially missing one person which mattered most, him. I remember sitting in that office and seeing him looking through the big window and just staring and contemplating, then explaining to me, every inch of every piece of that land that you see out there was earned with the blood and tears of our young soldiers. That scripted sentence is now framed and hanged in that very office in Korean, of course. Well, lastly, some of my personal memories regarding my father's were related to his PTSD from the war, including nightmares, personal seclusion, etc. I never realized it. I thought it was just what you go through when you get old. Now I feel a tremendous guilt not to be able to recognize and help him. I don't think my father knew it either. From this, I realized that we lack a quality support system for our veterans and their families who suffer from the effects of PTSD. In response next year in 2024, to address this issue, the Paxson Wild Rose Support Group will be established which is to give mental and psychological support to those who suffer as a result of post-traumatic stress disorder. Ma'am, again, I'm just so thankful that um, you 
um, brought us in uh, to your family to share the story. Quite honestly, you know, I've known General Peck Sun Yup for like 20 something years, but I've never heard of that part of uh, the story of his PTSD, having nightmares and, and uh, uh, seclusion. Uh, so thank you for shining a light to that. Um, and uh, what a wonderful personal example. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, before our last question, please uh, go to our uh, Q&A tab. And if you have any questions uh, or would like to make a comment you know, about how you met him or what your thoughts were, please do so. So man, finally, uh, how can KDVA members help? I think that's a good question to always ask an organization like yours. Well, thank you, Steve. I am just truly thankful to the KDVA and its members for supporting my father's legacy and letting me share his story every year. My father gave 70 years of his life to working toward the strengthening of the Korea-US alliance. It is my sincere hope that KDVA and the foundation will work hand in hand since we go together. Thank you, Steve. Okay, ma'am. So that's a wonderful way to wrap up our moderated discussion. And so thank you very much. And, and at this time, we'd like to invite our audience members to ask your questions or comments. So thank you for those who have put in there. So the first one says, you know, I echo the comments of General Scaparati and all participants. It was an honor to have the opportunity to meet General Peck Sun Yup in February of 14. Wow, this gentleman remembers the date, <laughs> just like General Peck would. Uh, February 14, 2014. For the first time, while I was serving as the wartime chief of staff for 8th Army, General Beck's kindness and wisdom marked an unforgettable moment in my life. When I informed him that I was a native of Puerto Rico, he immediately recalled the contributions of the 65th Infantry Regiment during the Korean War, which filled me with pride and I gained even more admiration for him. I keep with pride his signed book as a prized treasure. May God continue to bless him. General Beck is a hero and national treasure. We go together. So um, any uh, thoughts on his comments, ma'am? Well, I thank him for his comments and uh, just want to mention how great memory that he had uh, over the years and uh, Till, till he passed away, he remembered every seconds of the Korean War, I think, and all the faces and the names that he met over for, for uh, 100 years. And can I just thank him for his comment? Yes, absolutely. So thank you, ma'am. And you, know, you bring up a very good point. I think just about everyone here that's watching um, if they had an opportunity to meet uh, General Peck, they had a similar kind of encounter, like I did too. <laughs> that you know, I met him some twenty-something years ago, and ten years later, he remembered. <laughs> um, and yeah. like you said, I've had the opportunity to hear him speak about uh, the Korean War, and, and he remembered it to the details, like literally, it was yesterday. He did. Um, so that would that is not an exaggeration, and I think most people uh, who have had an opportunity to meet him uh, thought that as well. Um, so um, let's see um, some other uh, points that uh, people are making. Oh, so what is the family's recommendation for the most accurate book about General Peck Sun Yat? Do you have any comments on it? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, most of his books that he wrote, uh, they are out of uh, out of uh, publishing. Uh, so we the I hope that foundation will continue uh, publishing his books. And one of the books that I like personally the most 
is without country, I don't exist. Mm -hmm. That uh, covers up more than just his military life, but his civilian life also. And uh, there are many books uh, about my dad, but like Kunguana uh, is one of the book that he wrote the first, first one. And that book is close to my heart because it is not much edited. Mm. It is as the way that he spoke, that's the way that he thought. And so it is very raw in a sense that it is only, he only speaks about the history of the war that he participated, but that was the kind of person he was. Mm. Well, I actually have never heard that question. And so thank you for uh, sharing your answer uh, about that. Um, so um, the um, remarkable journey that uh, you mentioned, oh, there you are. Okay. Remarkable journey that you you mentioned about your father uh, going from military uh, to diplomat to uh, civilian. Any interesting uh, insights uh, about his many uh, different uh, journey and uh, positions? I think every time that he uh, changed, he has like a 15 years of military life, 10 years of diplomatic life, and 10 years of government official life, and then uh, 10 years of uh, entrepreneur's life. And every time he changed, he really started from uh, zero in his mind. Mm -hmm. And he dropped everything of his background and started new. Mm -hmm. uh, the memory that I have, which uh, I still remember like yesterday, is the day that he left army and changed to civilian clothes. Uh, to me, he looked very awkward and <laughs> he looked sad. So I remember his uh, uh, face that day. Okay, so I, actually, I don't think I've heard that story either. Uh, and. <laughs> so uh, thank you for sharing. I mean, you know, for those of us who have been in the military, uh, that is a significant transition to literally take off our uniforms and put on something like this. It, it is a, a different thing. Um, my my family also looked at me uh, differently <laughs> when I took off my uniform. So uh, that's wonderful to uh, know. Um, so Another thing that I think uh, people uh, like to uh, understand is um, when um, uh, he was working, I think, um, with the Ministry of Transportation, I think he was the architect of the uh, uh, of the uh, subway system. Right? Yes. And so uh, could you give us any insights about that? Well, uh, he was ambassador to uh, France, and he always envied the metro that uh, France has. So when he came back as Minister of Transportation in 19, I think, 69, uh, the transportation system in Korea was, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, they were overwhelmed with a uh, limited number of buses and trains and uh, back then, the many rest of the Korean population all came to Seoul to live. So the first thing he did was to uh, make three train stations uh, so the uh, crowd would disperse. And then he realized the only way to really improve the transportation system was to build the metro. So uh, he went to President Park and asked him if he could build a subway system. And President Park said, 
sure, go ahead. And that was it. So he was left uh, trying to fund the system and try to figure out from zero. But uh, he knew what he wanted, but to find funding was very difficult. Mm. So he went all over the world to find companies or the government mm. who could fund the subway system in Seoul and no one agreed. No one want, wanted to lend that kind that sum of money. And then there is that event of Japan airline kidnapping. Mm. Uh, and so uh, he was Minister of Transportation at that time and he helped uh, the return of Japan Airline without harming any hostages. Mm. So the Vice Minister of uh, Foreign Affairs, I think back then, thanked my father and promised him that he would grant him any wish that my father had. And my father asked for the funding of the subway. Mm. And that's how uh, my father found the money and Japan uh, helped to uh, support the uh, system. And that's how he, the first line, uh, first subway line was built mm. in Seoul. Well, ma'am, wow, well, thank you for uh, sharing that. I think uh, the, the importance of um, events like this webinar, which will uh, live on forever in the KDVA digital uh, library online, um, is that we will be able to connect with uh, the Pexan, General Pexan Yub Foundation so we can learn about things like crisis management. You just mentioned that, okay, what he did. Um, and then career transitions, uh, the importance of how we do that, fundraising, and then uh, understanding that globally there are partners and answers all over the world. We just have to seek it. And all of that, the um, General Peck Sun Yub Foundation will all help us. And so we're looking forward to uh, that. Um, so with that, uh, KDVA and KUSIF, we're very thankful for the opportunity to support the uh, Korea-U.S. Alliance and our veterans, and we strive to connect people from all generations, just like the foundation does, uh, who care about the Alliance and our veterans. We hope you are inspired by General Peck's life and his daughter's example of honoring our father. KDVA and KUSIF are continuing to carry forward General Peck's legacy for a strong Alliance. And here are some upcoming events that uh, support the mission. During the USO Korea's 50th annual USO Six Star Salute Gala on November 30th in Korea. KDVA is proud to once again sponsor the USO Korea's Leadership Lunch for Junior Enlisted that recognizes and celebrates the accomplishments of our emerging leaders of USFK and brings the military, diplomatic, and business communities together in support of the USO mission, which is very noble. And then four members of the KDVA Senior Enlisted Council uh, are in Korea right now, visiting several CFC units under KDVA's new CFC Senior Enlisted Advisors Forum. We are thankful for Command Sergeant Major Retired Stephen Payton, who is leading the KDVA group and his successor as the UNC CFC USFK Command Sergeant Major Command Sergeant Major Jack Love for their combined leadership. KDVA is starting local chapters in the United States and virtual common interest groups from anywhere. So we are looking for volunteers who would like to be local uh, chapter leaders. So please let us know. And then please consider joining KDVA. It is free and a few minutes. We had a historic uh, increase in our membership this year. And we are within a couple of weeks of hitting 10,000 members at KDVA. So really appreciate everybody's support. So everything and all the details are at kdva.vet, V-E-T. 
So thank you, everybody. And in the model of KDDA together for the ROK-US Alliance. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.